Uh, an auto transformer has uh, certain advantages over the conventional transformer. Uh, first advantage is uh, reduced cost. For example, uh, if we are we want to uh, step up a voltage uh, from 120 volts to 132 volts, then uh, by using uh, the conventional transformer, if we are using uh, uh, 1200 turns on the primary side, uh, then on the secondary side we have to use 1320 turns as the ratio of the uh, secondary and primary voltage is the same as the ratio of secondary and primary turns however if we are using an auto transformer then the voltage on the high side and voltage on the low side these are related by this relation and uh, let's again uh, 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 assume that we have 1200 turns uh, on the common windings of the transformer then the required turns on the series winding the required turns on the series winding is uh, 120 So, uh, we are using less number of turns on series winding. Less number of turns means less copper, which in turn means uh, reduced cost. So, this uh, advantage is more apparent when the required uh, amount of step up or step down voltage is very small. So, one advantage is the uh, cost, reduced cost of auto transformer. Another very important advantage is the apparent power rating. A conventional transformer, if utilized uh, in auto transformer configuration, its power ratings are increased. Uh, and uh, power ratings, we shall talk about the ratings of transformers in more details. Uh, here, important point uh, is that power ratings of electrical machines is uh, always uh, apparent power rating. That is. That is the volt ampere rating. The primary and secondary windings of transformers, these are made up of copper. However, they still have some small resistance. And when copper current flows in the windings, uh, heating is produced in the winding. And uh, therefore, the maximum current that uh, the, uh, the windings can handle, that is limited. Likewise, the maximum voltage that uh, can be applied to uh, the primary and secondary windings that is limited therefore volt ampere rating also called the apparent power rating that is limited for a transformer uh, if the same transformer is connected in auto transformer configuration then we know that the power uh, not only flows through the transformer but also through the electrical connection therefore the power rating of the transformer, if it is connected in auto transformer configuration, is increased. The power which flows from this side to high voltage side, that is through two parts, that is the magnetic circuit and the electrical connection. So maximum power that can be transmitted through the magnetic circuit, that is limited. However, now power flow is through two parts, magnetic circuits and the electrical connection. Therefore, power rating of the transformer is increased. Uh, to further elaborate uh, this point, let's uh, discuss it mathematically. The input power, uh, apparent power, is, this, is simply the product of uh, voltage and the current. The output power, uh, that is equal to VH into IH. Now, the power which flows through the magnetic circuit, uh, that let's call it uh, the winding power, that is equal to this voltage VC multiplied by IC. VC multiplied by IC, that is the power which is flowing 
through the magnetic circuit and this is also equal to VSE ISE. So let's uh, derive our relationship between the power which flows through the magnetic circuit and the uh, input power. These two powers are equal. Input power for an ideal transformer is equal to output power. So let's call it the input output power. And let's derive a relationship between the power which flows through the magnetic circuit and the power uh, which is uh, the total power which flows from the primary side to the secondary side. We can see that uh, this uh, VC that is uh, equal to VL and I see uh, by applying the Kirchhoff's uh, uh, current law IC is equal to IL minus ISE which ISE is this current the current which flows through the series winding uh, this current is this direction if current enters this dot current will leave this dot now uh, this is VL IL minus VL IH IH and IL are related by this relation IH divided by IL that is equal to NC over NC plus NSE by substituting it over here we have this relation VL IL minus VL IL into NC uh, NC plus NSE and by taking VL IL common uh, the winding power winding power is the power which flows through the magnetic circuit is equal to VL IL 1 minus this which is N S E over N C plus N S E. Uh, this is uh, V L I L is the input output power multiplied by N S E over N C and hence uh, the ratio between the power which uh, total power which flows from the primary side to the secondary side divided by the power power we know that flows through two different uh, ways through the magnetic circuit and through electrical connection so s winding is the power which flows through the magnetic circuit and uh, this ratio is equal to Uh, let's uh, elaborate this point with the help of uh, some numerical example. Consider that we have a transformer. Uh, this is 100 volt ampere transformer. And we, this is a conventional transformer which steps uh, down 120 volts uh, to 12 volts. Uh, if it is convert, connected in this conventional configuration, the rating is given by this uh, 100 volt ampere. Uh, now uh, let's study that what is the rating, what will be the rating of uh, this transformer which when it is connected in auto transformer configuration. If it is connected in auto transformer configuration, then it will step up 120 volts into 132 volts. Uh, we can from here can also see the turns ratio, the number of turns uh, uh, common winding and series winding, what is that ratio? that is simply equal to 120 divided by 12 that is equal to 10 the turn ratio is 10 and c over n s e if it is connected in auto transformer configuration then the power that it will be able to handle is given by this relation this is uh, uh, this is the uh, n c over n s e plus 1 so NC over NSE is 10 uh, plus 1 which is 11 uh, then 
the power that this transformer winding power is this uh, this power uh, then it is 1100 volt ampere that is if the same transformer the, which had the power rating of 100 volt amperes when it is connected in auto transformer configuration it will be capable of handling 100 1100 volt ampere of power so this is another very important advantage of an auto transformer uh, there are certain disadvantages as well which we need to consider uh, uh, in addition to a disadvantage, there is also a precaution. So what we can see is that if uh, this transformer is connected in conventional configuration, for example, let's again consider this transformer 120 volts and 12 volts. So if we apply on high voltage side the 120 volts and then on the secondary side we have 12 volts. So voltage which is being applied on the secondary side is 12 volts. However, when it is connected in auto transformer configuration, this voltage which will be applied uh, as well on this winding is 132 volts in conventional configuration. If we apply 120 volts over here there will be 12 volts which is applied across this winding. However, when the same transformer is connected in auto transformer configuration, if we apply 120 volts over here, here will be 132 volts. That is 132 volts are being applied across these secondary windings as well. Therefore, this transformer, if connected in auto transformer configuration, should be capable of handling 132 volts. There is a disadvantage uh, of uh, an auto transformer. The uh, disadvantage in conventional con transformer what we see is that there is no electrical connection between primary and secondary voltage. So high voltage and low voltage these are uh, isolated from each other and if there is uh, any noise uh, over here that is not uh, proportionally transmitted on the secondary side. However, uh, if we have uh, an auto transformer configuration, then the noise, uh, there is an electrical connection. So the noise over here uh, can be, uh, will be transmitted on the secondary side. So the, with auto transformer con configuration, we lose uh, the uh, isolation, electrical isolation, that is a disadvantage of an auto transformer.